If you are interested in the watch movement service, this is a video not to miss. So welcome on Taking Watch. I'm oiling now the mainspring, which is all the in the barrel and to the mainspring I will come back a little bit later and this video will be all about assembly of a Polyot, a Soviet Polyot 2609 so let's begin the full assembly of this movement. Now the barrel arbor and about the mainspring I have to confess that I was a little bit lazy here because I didn't take out the mainspring now I need to adjust the barrel arbor with the mainspring and about coming back to the mainspring normally especially when you are servicing so very old watch or watch movement you should take out the mainspring check it if there is something broken and of course clean it and then lubricate and put back into the barrel I just assume that there isn't anything broken because before I started the service the mainspring was fully winded and now I just need to press this cover for that the best way is just to use it as special press but I'm using only, only tweezers ok the barrel is ready and here we can start with the assembly of the parts of this watch and this particular model has an additional wheel it is an intermediate wheel between the minute wheel or center wheel and between the mainspring barrel actually I never saw different models or different watches with this solution but probably there are some Okay, oiling the place where the barrel arbor comes and here we have the barrel Okay, the barrel is in place and now the barrel bridge this task are pretty simple so no problem with that the parts fits very well to this watch okay the screws and in a moment now I can tighten the screws Of course some parts of the video I will just speed up because assembly is always a little bit longer okay. here we can see that there is a pretty big play of the barrel so I hope it won't cause any problems Now the click spring, here is the spring and the click. Okay, now the screw. And supporting the screwdriver, we have to tighten the screw. And now oiling the points where the wheels come from the barrel bridge and this bridge is pretty busy it has three wheels and here I also put a little bit oil and these two wheels this is the second one they are not the same one is a little bit higher and the higher wheel that's in fact this winding wheel okay let's tighten the ratchet wheel here 
here it is a little bit unconventional because the click spring, the click blocks the wheel and we can easily tighten it. And here before we tighten these two wheels and this wheel is a little bit higher so pay attention on that. A little bit oil, a very thick oil. And now the crown ring. The second one. Now one is from intermediate wheel. Now the screws. The second one. This screw is a right threaded screw. So pretty standard. But this one from the crown wheel. This is a left threaded screw. Okay, and I think the bridge is finished. The barrel bridge. Pretty unique solution. We have three wheels on the barrel bridge. But yeah, so it is the movement. Now the center wheel. The center wheel is through this intermediate wheel connected with the barrel. And this is a center wheel bridge or cock. And I put a little bit too much oil later off camera. I just needed to disassemble this part, clean it because there was too much oil. So I was afraid that. It can have some influence on the movement in the future. Okay. And now the train wheel wheels. This is the escape wheel. Very delicate part, so we have to be careful here that nothing will be damaged because looking for new parts it can be when we work on a such old movement can be problematic although here in Poland I don't have problems to find a spur movement to this uh, to this to this uh, type of of watches of parts so there's a lot of parts no problem with that okay and the second wheel is on place so now the bridge and here it is always a little bit tricky because we have to fit all the pivots to the bearings to the dual bearings it's not always easy and here it was a little bit difficult because of the one wheel and I mean the third wheel here because as you can see this wheel is actually fully covered by the bridge and uh, it's hard to get with the tweezers to this wheel exactly here okay I spent a little bit more time and finally I was successful and here I see the wheels doesn't turn but they are matching so I will just secure the bridge with two screws and see if this is okay let me tighten these screws first one and the second one okay now the wheels turning very freely it's a little bit weird because <laughs> before they didn't want to turn and now it's okay oiling the pivots Okay, I know it's not very professional. 
and now also the last check okay oiling the pivots from the dale side and as you can see already the stone the balance stone with the cover and with the shock spring is already installed but don't worry I will show you later on the balance cock how I'm installing it. Now the canyon pinion. I'm not using here a special equipment, I'm just pressing with the tweezers the canyon pinion to the center wheel. And this wheel, this minute wheel, is on the bearing. So there was a bearing for this wheel. That's also a pretty unique solution in so budget watch which this movement was in the 70s and in the 80s okay now the keyless work here is the task pretty straightforward here we have also two intermediate wheels this is the setting wheel and of course these two wheels are also different the setting wheel is a little bit different so pay attention by the disassembly and don't change these two wheels okay the screws a very simple solution nowadays by many watches there is a separate plate secured with one or even two screws and that's it here we have two screws without any plate so that's also good and I have a little bit shaking hands also today and using a tweezers as a support this is a very great great idea and very helpful so okay instead here we have a plate and in my opinion this plate could be extended and also could secure these two wheels the setting wheel and the, and this intermediate wheel oh, okay this solution also correct or even maybe better I'm not sure if this movement is a little bit cleaning if this movement is Soviet invention or it is some patent boat somewhere in the Switzerland or in the state no idea okay winding pinion and the clutch wheel okay now it's in place a little bit oiling I also oiling here so the best here I think is a thick oil or synthetic grease now the winding steam okay and now the yoke setting lever I hope I'm saying everything correct here about the names of the parts. Okay, and now the spring. On this spring we need to be careful because once I even lost this one and I found it a week later. <laughs> So we have to we have to pay attention on it. Okay, I think it's in place now. And now the setting spring. I've a setting lever spring. Okay. And another spring that is holding on place the setting lever and actually this keyless work is identical with Poliot 
2614 or 2616. This is an automatic version. And I think the new Polyot 2614 is a modern version of this 2609, probably, but I'm not sure. Okay, I think the keyless work is correct. Now we need to turn the movement again to the balance side and finished assembly. And we start with the pellet fork. I always doing this task a little bit longer because I don't want to damage anything here. Okay, I think it's in place. The pivot is in the bearing. Mm, yeah. So now the pellet cock. Here it is pretty pretty nice to assemble these two parts. I didn't have any problem with that and okay. I think it's okay. Now I need to only secure this cog with screw. But first I will check if this is okay. I'm doing that with this way because uh, the pellet cock sits a little bit tight so therefore there was no risk that it just jump up something like that okay and when the pellet cock is finished now we need to set the balance wheel and we are almost ready with the assembly I'm really happy. But here we need to be careful because the balance stuff and the pivots from the balance stuff are some pretty thin parts and they can bend very very easily. Okay, I think it's okay. Now we need to secure only the balance cock balance bridge I like the name balance bridge okay. okay a little bit persuasion and yeah, okay it's working it's at the moment without the stone so it will probably stop but now we need to put the stone and this is the spring which here it is not very difficult to install it it was difficult by Slava my previous video about watch movement assembly but here the arms are much longer and it is much much easier to fit them to this construction to this to this gap in the balance shock absorber and as we see there is a little gap and we just need to turn around the spring and it is holding and I didn't saw a lot of movement that have broken balance stuff so this shock protection really works okay again a little bit persuasion and I'm done I think so I finish here a little bit winding I hope you enjoyed this video you learn something more about which movement assembly and this is the watch in which was this movement and this is on the end so thank you for watching subscribe and I hope to see you again in my next video thank you bye bye